windy weather out there today. A very warm and a windy day across the area. Looking at that camera in Carbondale again, you can see some of those trees kind of moving around in those southerly winds. It's still, of course, breezy out there this evening. Temperatures still warm as well. Carbondale reporting 79. Those winds are still out of the south, running pretty close to 20 miles per hour with a wind gust a little bit higher than 30. So again, very windy out there this evening. Temperatures though, extremely mild for this time of year. We do have Cape Girardeau still running in the 80s at 81, along with Dixon Springs. Paducah reporting 80 degrees. Poplar Bluff at 80 degrees. And then Mount Vernon holding on to 79. It will continue to stay a little bit breezy as we head through the overnight hours tonight. That southerly breeze will keep us warm again. The warm and breezy conditions stick around as we head into your Wednesday as well. And then we're tracking some changes by the time we get to Thursday. Our cold front will start to move into the area on Thursday. That's going to bring that chance for some rain. Of course, that's also Halloween. So we'll kind of time out some of those rainfall uh, expectations here in just a minute. As of right now, we've got all of the wind across the area because of a pretty tight pressure gradient. We do have the high pressure off to our east with that low pressure off to our west. That's funneling in, of course, those southerly winds. We will see partly cloudy skies through the overnight hours tonight, partly cloudy to kick off the day on Wednesday. But for the most part, tomorrow will be very similar to today. We'll see some sunshine through the afternoon. Can't completely rule out a stray shower during the evening hours across parts of southeastern Missouri. But overall, just another dry and a warm and breezy day on Wednesday. For that bus stop forecast, as kiddos are heading out the door, we're talking temperatures tomorrow morning, running in the low to mid 60s, feeling more like summer than, of course, the end of fall. We are talking 81 degrees for that bus ride home tomorrow. Storm Track 3 app, always great to have on your smartphone. This will be very handy by the time we get to Thursday. If you're getting out trick or treating and you have this app on your phone, you can track that rain right there in the palm of your hand. So what we're watching for Thursday is a cold front that's going to be working its way in from the west. It'll start to move in during the very early morning hours around five, six o'clock. You see that pushing in. You can still see widespread rainfall at about 10 o'clock. The front will start to push east of the area throughout the afternoon, but notice by about one o'clock, you've still got some shower activity across western Kentucky, back into northwest Tennessee, and even across parts of southeast Illinois. This is going to continue to move away from the area as we head into the evening, but we'll have to watch to see if we see any of those lingering showers for areas like Western Kentucky and Northwest Tennessee. If you're in Southern Illinois, I think that rain is going to be out of here just in time for trick or treating. It's a warm day. Temperatures topping out close to 72 ahead of the front. Winds are out of the south and west, but even with that rain clearing by the evening, winds will shift out of the northwest. It'll still be a bit breezy. Winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour with temperatures dropping from the low 60s into the upper 50s. So if you're going to be trick or treating, you probably still want to make sure you've got a jacket, not quite as comfortable as what we saw over the weekend. Of course, cooler air settles in Friday and into Saturday, and it's kind of another one of those cool downs that really doesn't last for very long. These uh, cooler air spells don't want to stick around. We warm right back up into the 70s next week. Well, growing up in Michigan, sometimes we would get snow or snow flurries on oh. Halloween or even in the days after. So this is looking a lot better compared to that. Much yeah. better than snow. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, JC.